welcome back in the previous uh, video we have seen the introductory part of this course and also we have seen uh, the high level architecture of uh, spark with respect to the distributed uh, processing and uh, in today's uh, video we will discuss about the topic 3 that is uh, databricks community edition uh, for uh, practicing uh, uh, for the practicing of the course whatever uh, content we are giving in this course it can be practiced using this free uh, databricks community edition so basically this is uh, um, important uh, because uh, once you know this uh, or once you kind of uh, sign up for this databricks community edition you will get the community edition uh, for your uh, and you will get the username password and uh, for your username password you will be able to kind of a log into the databricks uh, portal and you will be able to get the cluster and use it for your practice purpose so before uh, proceeding if you are new to this channel we would recommend you to please subscribe and also press bell button for instant let's get started yeah before uh, we actually jump into the actual topic uh, so uh, there is a please important uh, this is important to please note before you actually start so make sure uh, you are using uh, head for, head, headphones uh, for the best experience and adjust the volume accordingly and uh, pause and take notes wherever it is needed recommended to watch full video and follow the course as per the sequence in this uh, playlist and uh, practice as you go through the course so this is very important and also any questions any suggestions please feel free to comment in the comment section if you need any practice notes so then please uh, comment your name uh, in comment section and also send the request to the uh, this particular email id so let's get started so databricks community edition uh, basically it is a free databricks workspace uh, for uh, anyone to practice uh, the with the basic uh, cluster configuration so they don't give you the sophisticated uh, cluster configuration here so they just give the basic cluster configuration that is enough for the practice uh, and that is what uh, the Databricks uh, community edition workspace means and uh, you can perform all the hands-on uh, uh, hands-on experience or the hands-on practice uh, of this course using this uh, community edition and there is no need of uh, cloud accounts which is important right so there is no need of cloud account uh, to be inst uh, to be uh, subscri uh, there is no need of any subscription for this uh, cloud accounts like aws azure or gcp so you can just uh, community edition is uh, can be used or can be sign up uh, without uh, subscription of these uh, cloud accounts so which is quite helpful uh, when you don't have any cloud accounts and uh, so basically you have to go for this uh, uh, HTTPS www.databricks.com. So with this databricks.com, uh, you'll be able to kind of initiate this uh, community edition request uh, and sign up for this. And we will see that in the quick demo now. So as you can see, I'm in the home screen of databricks. Uh, that is uh, databricks www.databricks.com. And in this, uh, so there will be somewhere in the here. There's a try databricks. So you can either click on the try databricks here or also there is another option here where you can click get started for free. So the UI might little bit vary because the old UI was different and now the UI is different. But you should you should see somewhere the option called as try databricks or get uh, get started for free. So either of the links you can get you can click and it will take you to the sign up page. So where you can give your. Uh, uh, first name last name and the company name right and the title and uh, uh, all the required details as it is ask uh, asking and uh, you can uh, see here they're telling try databricks for free and uh, so there are some details they are giving here and uh, this is for 14 days whatever they are telling is for uh, if you are using aws microsoft or google but we are using a community edition so this 14 days will not will not be applicable and uh, so this community edition will be actually you can use it uh, 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 almost for a lifetime i would say right until the databricks suspends it so and uh, it is having a limited uh, it comes with a limited cluster anyways so once you give all these details here uh, uh, you can click on continue right and uh, so this is important uh, right so in the next step uh, what it is asking is uh, choose your cloud provider so 
for the community version if you want to choose a community version or go with the community edition so you should not uh, click any of these options you should uh, click the there is a below option if you don't have the cloud account you need to click the community edition here so we need to click here so in case if you have a cloud uh, cloud platforms right uh, already and if you want to use the cloud platform you can choose them but if you choose a cloud platform it will be applicable only for the 14 days uh, trial uh, for free for only for 14 days but now we want a community edition with uh, limited configurations for the cluster creation and all so this community edition is sufficient for us so i'm just clicking on the community edition here so once i click on community edition so just ask some puzzle here so once the verification is complete uh, it is uh, loading yeah basically as you can see uh, i'm receiving a confirmation here check your email to start and uh, it says just thank you for signing up and please uh, validate your email address to start so once you go to your uh, mailbox uh, uh, and uh, you will get a further instructions to uh, actually kind of uh, log into this uh, you may get either a link or you may get uh, some kind of a username password you can use that and uh, log into the community edition so once you log into the community edition it exactly looks like uh, this yeah as you can see here uh, so it looks uh, something like this uh, where uh, you your uh, email id will be here right and uh, uh, which you are logging in and this will be your workspace uh, databricks workspace home page uh, and uh, you see all the options here right uh, as you can see all the databricks workspace options you see here and uh, and also you can go to the compute and you can see the cluster uh, and or you can create start creating the cluster here and once you create a cluster you can also uh, so as you see there is no cluster so you can create a cluster here and uh, so how do you create a cluster there is a link in the disk in the uh, basically uh, we are providing a link on the top of the right top corner so you can click on that and you will understand how to create a data, databricks cluster and also you can uh, start creating the notebooks here uh, just uh, if you go to the workspace and you can start creating the notebooks that is python scala or uh, sql kind of uh, notebooks you can start creating and you can start your practice uh, for free so this is how you actually uh, create a community uh, databricks community edition uh, uh, username or sign up basically uh, account uh, so that you can start practicing for free so the entire course uh, uh, i would recommend you to please uh, sign up for this community edition and you can follow the course as and we follow the course uh, we will be executing the uh, programming uh, or the commands uh, so you can follow those commands and use this databricks workspace and you can uh, start practicing hope this was useful